Hey, this is Ken from the Information Nation bringing you more stuff. Yep, that's right. We got more stuff for you today. A lot of people have been going out and buying the Kanger subtank, this one right here. And they're starting to have leaking issues. Um, they also have an issue with the rebuildable section of the tank. So what I'm going to do, let's dive down and take a good look at this. And then I'm going to explain to you how you can get this fixed. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look down deep. All right, here we are. Let's uh, take a look at what I'm talking about. We'll start with the, um, the rebuildable section. And where people are having a problem is that if you look, let me zoom on in here. And let's see if we can autofocus this a little bit. We go. Do you see this? I don't know if you can see it. You probably can right in here. This is an insulator. And people are having a problem with that insulator. Um, a little better focus. There we go. People are having a problem with that insulator disintegrating. Uh, Kanger says it's because of the juice. Well, Kanger will replace this for you. All you have to do is write to them. I will put a link in the description below so you can contact them. Throw the autofocus back on. Now, the other problem that people are having is with the um, the tank leaking, which is one of the problems that I foresaw when I first got this. And here's here's something that was interesting. I had this thing all loaded up today, and I made a mistake. I made a mistake myself. What I did was I let the juice get too low and I burned the coil. So here I've got a full tank of juice and I got a burnt coil. So I'm going, okay, how am I going to do this? Well, I took the top off, which I'm doing right now. I'll do this because we don't have to worry too much about it. I took the top off and I had all the juice in here. Well, I had my finger underneath, just like you see it here. And I took, a, took my syringe, and I took my syringe down in here, and I siphoned off all the juice. And when I had the, all the juice taken out, I moved my finger inadvertently to here, and that's what happened. The tank, the glass section of the tank remained in my hand, and the stainless steel section hit the deck. Now, I had a towel here like I do normally. Um, so there was no damage done. But that's how loose these are. These go on so cotton picking loose. And I'll tell you something. I, I've been vaping on this thing since I had it. And this coil will still be running good. I've put about um, 14 tanks through here. 10 to 14 tankfuls since I've had it. And that coil was going strong until what I did was I let the juice, let me uh, zoom in on this a little bit. And as soon as the zoom decides to work. And we'll autofocus this and we'll show you exactly what I did. There we go. See the juice hole right there? That's where the juice goes through. I wasn't watching, and I let the juice get down below this area here. It was actually down here. That coil dried out, and I got a burnt hit. I'll tell you something. I got a burnt hit that was unbelievable. So I have to replace the coil. Later on, we're going to do a video. We're going to show you how to rebuild this, hopefully. 
So anyhow, I got this burnt hit on there and um, wasn't real happy with that. That's why I had to take it apart to refill it. Now, refilling it is not an issue. Putting another coil in here is not an issue. But when that tank fell out of there, that's an issue. Because you think about this. Let's say you've got that tank half full, and you say, well, I'm going out for the day. I'm going to fill the tank so I got enough juice. And you take this cotton picker, and it's full of juice, and it does that to you. You got juice everywhere. <coughs> the other thing that I noticed if you lay the tank on its side like this, it will leak. So, what I did was I contacted Kanger. And um, let me show you the response that I got from Kanger. Okay, as I told you, I sent an email to Kanger. Now, you don't want to send it to China. You want to send it to the U.S. area. And I wrote them, I would like to know if I can get one of the new peak insulators for my Kanger sub-tank. Also, I'd like to know if you have any plans to offer thicker O-rings. As the ones that are in the tank leak, I really like this pro the product, and the coils are top-notch, and they are. So far, they are. I ordered the Mini and hope it does as well as the sub-tank without the leaking problems. They replied to me in probably 10 hours. And it says, Ken, thank you for your email. We apologize for the inconvenience the product has caused you. But appreciate your dis dedication to genuine Kanger Tech products. Could you please provide us with your product ID number, authenticity number, and store information? Kanger Tech HQ in China has developed new insulators with upgraded materials. In our initial batch to sub -tanks, uh, of sub-tanks, there was a change, a chance for the rubber rings to be slightly too small, which increased the chance of leaking for thinner juice. So I wrote back to them today. I sent them my ID. I sent them my authenticity. I told them I bought it at Vapor Beast online. It says, I went today to change out the coil and got the coil section removed. Um, I went today to change out the coil. And when I got the coil section removed, the center section slid out of the tank. I don't think this is from thinner juice. But no matter, I know Kanger will make it right. Thank you for your fast reply in this matter. All right, so anyhow, while I was doing that, I looked at this. And here you have Kanger Tech's website in the United States. And it's pretty cut and pick and select. So I'm looking at it, and I said, okay, look at this, parts. So let's go over and just click on parts. That's all I did. I clicked on parts. I said, gee, it didn't change until I scrolled down. And there are the parts. Now, this is the advanced sub-tank insulators, upgraded material, two sizes, that's 49 cents. But here's what I found interesting, rubber O-rings. Once again, it pops up to the top, drives me crazy doing that. But you get down here and look at this, Kanger sub-tank O-rings, updated version, set of three, $1.99. Well, guess who ordered those today? So anyhow, these are coming to me. Um, I ordered these, and with a matter in a matter of no time, I got a reply back. They had the order, and it's been shipped. I expect to get it in one to three days. They're on the East Coast, by the way, so I thought I'd let you know that. But that's the new O-rings. Hopefully that will take care of the leaking problem. Oh, and by the way, just, just to give you a little little something to think about, I got my mini today in the mail, so we're going to be doing a thing on that, and we should have that should be the next video. It would be the, um, the review of the mini. But anyhow, I th hope this will help you out. I'm going to put the link down below to this website, and I'll also put the link down below as to 
where you contact Kanger. You don't want to contact Kanger China. You want to contact Kanger Tech. Uh, as a matter of fact, why don't I do this? Here we go. You want to contact service at kangertechus.com. That's who you want to contact in order to get your um, your tank or, or your um, your peak insulators taken care of. I hope this has been helpful for you. I really do. This has been Ken for the Information Nation, bringing you more stuff. Hey, I'm glad you could show up. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And remember, in the meantime, in between time, ain't we got fun? <laughs> oh, man. Have a great day.